Hello and welcome to your weekly dose of Amazon Ads news and updates. Are you ready to be in the know? My name is Claire Hall and I am a product marketing manager here for our Amazon Ads partners business. Now today we are joined again by our tech evangelist Jeff Cohen. I'm sure you know who he is by now. He recently returned from the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas and he's here to talk to us about that today. Welcome Jeff. Hey, Claire, thanks for having me again. Excited to share all the exciting buzz from the show. Yeah, I mean, always great to have you on, Jeff. Um, so let's start by um, your general take on CES. What was exciting from Amazon Ads? Uh, yeah, so from the Amazon Ads perspective, um, the biggest buzz that was kind of happening around what we call the Connections Hub was really focused around the expansion and uh, the growth that's um, coming from Prime Video at the end of the month of uh, January, right? So if you're not aware, Prime Video is going to move to an ad-supported format starting um, sometime at the end of January. I don't remember the exact date. And advertisers were really excited to learn more about this, excited to learn how they could participate. There was also a lot of buzz around Thursday night football, right? The numbers from this year, Thursday night football, um, exceeded what we did last year. And so a lot of brands are trying to understand how they can participate in Thursday night football and other sporting events that are happening in 2024. There was also a lot of buzz around um, Twitch and kind of what's happening with the younger generation and how to engage with them. And then the other really cool thing that uh, was on display at the um, Amazon Ads Connection Hub was a new feature from Amazon Live Shopping called Shop the Show. And um, I'll try to do a good job of explaining it here, but I'm gonna do a whole post on it later. But essentially, if you are watching Amazon Live Shopping on your Fire TV um, and you see something that you wanna buy, you pull out your phone, you pull up amazon.com, you type in shop the show, your phone then uses like a, a listening technology to sync to the feed that is on um, the actual Amazon Live, and it will actually start to pop up the products that um, are being shown on Amazon Live, making it really easy for you to uh, further research them or add them to cart. Um, and I thought that was really cool. So lots of cool innovation, technology, uh, new opportunities for advertisers. That that was pretty much the buzz around Amazon ads. I love it. That sounds so innovative and exciting um, and definitely a way to make shoppers' lives easier, um, which is yeah. what we're always trying to do. So awesome. Um, all right. So that was from the Amazon ad side, uh, Jeff. What else were you hearing? Like, um, what about from the consumer electronics side? Yeah, so Amazon Ads is in this small hotel called the Aria. It's not really small, but then there's like two giant convention centers at the uh, Venetian Sands Resort, as well as the Las Vegas Convention Center that are just filled with um, technological revolutions, um, new, uh, new technology, new features, new brands. Some of the ones that were pretty cool was um, there was a, an integration that um, ChatGBT did with Volkswagen that allows you to talk to your car. Um, there was another one called the Rabbit. It was like one of the hottest uh, talked about products at um, at the show. And that product, what it did was it was um, it's like a device that uses like ChatGBT language or or natural language to um, perform tasks for you. So it would actually like go and create a spreadsheet. It would uh, go to a website and complete a purchase. And so it was taking natural language and then and then um, doing human tasks. So very cool, uh, innovative technology. Uh, you could clearly see where uh, the new large language models and the chat GBT-esque type of features of, of how uh, we would speak to a computer in the future are starting to get integrated into technology. Um, there was also really cool innovations around VR, lots of VR headsets being tested. And there were some around sports and sports equipment and pets. And I saw a litter box that cleans itself and all kinds of crazy things that, that go on throughout this show. So lots of really cool things. Um, if you're kind of a, a uh, computer gadget you know, geek, um, this is just like you're in heaven throughout this whole throughout this whole exhibit. This sounds amazing. A little box that cleans itself. Like I definitely need to look that one up. So yeah. um, 
I'm excited to see your post, Jeff. Um, well, let's let's pop the link to it below this video for anyone um, who's watching is interested. We'll make sure they they can access that. Yes, absolutely. Awesome. Uh, final question for you, Jeff. Um, I heard you visited the Amazon Alexa booth as well. Um, what did you pick up from your time there? Yeah. So Alexa had this. Uh, this really cool display and um, they have a tech evangelist and I was able to get kind of a private tour with their tech evangelist. I'm working on like a full video recap of this, so it'll probably be out in the next week. But what what they demonstrated, which I think is really cool and it's very similar to how we need to think about advertising is how Alexa uh, really integrates in with your full life. Um, from when you wake up in the morning to opening your blinds, to starting your coffee maker, uh, to kind of managing your whole home system. Um, they had a display through the Alexa fund that was talking about a, a, a new toy that interacts with kids. So it actually can ask the kids about books that they're reading. And then based on the responses that the kids are giving, it can ask them more questions. So it can ask a question of like, between these two books, which one did you like? And then the kid says, I liked book A. Oh, well, what was your favorite character in book A? And then they say, I really like the way that Claire hosted the podcast. And they go, oh, well, what about Claire hosting the podcast? And it's really cool because it's creating this um, social emotional engagement between the toy, the reading, and the and and the kid. And um, really kind of a, a neat look into like where things are going. Um, Alexa also was displaying their new Echo frames. Um, so there's no camera involved. It's kind of cool. I don't have a pair on, but like right over the ears was like a light speaker. So you could actually speak into your, you could just speak and say, hey, Alexa, play music. Hey, Alexa, give me directions. Hey, Alexa, turn on the lights in the house. Uh, and you could command all these different Alexa commands if you don't have like Alexa built into your car um, while you're driving, while you're sitting at home. They were really, really cool how the um, Echo Frames were working. I think they were called Echo Frames or Alexa Frames, we'll call them. Um, and then there was integration into the car and how um, Alexa's, you know, can voice control all these features within this F-150 pickup truck. And then finally, ultimately at night, right? So you lay back down in bed, you want to close the blinds, you want to turn off the lights, you want to set the alarm, all these things that you want to do. Um, really cool. Um, things that I knew that Alexa did. But then I also saw some demonstrations of how kind of Alexa's moving and using, um, I'll say like AI. And so like one of the features that they showed me was that the home whole, the whole home integration center, it's a mouthful to say, um, can actually detect when it hears coughing. And then when it detects that it hears coughing, it can actually kick on your air purifiers. Now, like I thought that was really cool and it totally makes sense, but you can start to create these commands using Alexa to um, listen for ambient noises and then take actions according to them. Uh, and so I think like this is kind of where things are going with a connected home and with um, some of the connectivity that we're having. I'm not an Alexa expert. I was very happy that Emerson was able to make some time for me and I thought it was really cool to kind of see in depth kind of how some of this technology is working. Yeah, I mean, this sounds so interesting, Jeff. I'm going to need to look into some of this because, you know, hands-free in the car, the number of times I've needed to do X, Y, and Z while I'm driving, I have a very old car, full disclosure. I think I need to look into some of this tech and see how I can upgrade. Yeah, because cool. uh, <laughs> Definitely. All right, brilliant. Well, Jeff, thank you very much for coming on today. Uh, that's all we have time for, but we'll definitely post the link to your posts, um, whatever it is you put out for CES. I'm sure our viewers would love to would love to check it out. Awesome. Check it out. It's uh, a great conference and there's, you know, lots of other conferences happening throughout the year. So I'll definitely report back after we go to some other ones as well. Fantastic. Thanks, Jeff. We would love to know what you thought of today's session. Thank you so much for joining. Please do email us at in the social at amazon.com. Let us know what you'd like to learn more about. Feel free to leave comments below, like and share, and we'll see you next week on In the Know.